Shelsby, everybody. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, your next comic, really funny dude, glad he could be here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for John Thomas. Hey. Hi. Hey, John. What love are you going for here? Well, I like people to know I based my appearance on 90s rock bands I liked and the game Streets of Rage. <laughs> so, a dog on skates broke into my car the other day. So, I chased him down, being on a pipe. Don't worry, after the third time I hit, it hit, 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 hit him in the head, the pipe flashed and then just dropped out of my hands and disappeared. And so did he. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? Hey, horror movies? You can stop now. There's the internet. You stop making movies, horror, horror people. Stop making them. Oh, there's a, there's a creepy dude who lives down the street. Then don't go to his house. There's a demon in my house. Then move, bitch. <laughs> That was real. Look, anime videos are a lot scarier, aren't they? Like, there's a video of a guy who tries to put a mason girl up his butt. <laughs> and and it, ex it explodes. And he's just like nonchalant about it, which is way scarier than anything I could ever think of. <laughs> and he's like, he's just picking glass out of his ass. Like, just nonchalant, like he's feeding grapes to a lover. <laughs> I seem to be bleeding profusely. No big deal. Where are they going with that? I've got shit. I forgot where I was going. <laughs> Let me check the people. Uh, oh, me meanwhile, across town, I freak out whenever I walk into a spider's web. <laughs> Fucking bullshit! Fuck! 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 Why? Why are you doing this to me? I think the neighbors were asleep otherwise. I thought I was fucking insane. Oh, no, he, he walked through a spider web. Oh, he's out of his goddamn mind. <laughs> <laughs> What's the scariest thing is? Uh, God didn't tell Mary he was going to impregnate her in person. Like, he sent an angel down to do it. Which is kind of like, you know. I, you're at a bar, you see a girl, you're like, and you go, hey, um, <laughs> my friend, boss, dad, kind of same thing. Uh, he's going to fuck you, and there's nothing you can do with that. <laughs> you could run, you can call the cops if you want, he's going to fuck you, he's going to get you. Man, female, fe man, man, female, it doesn't matter, he's going to impregnate you. He's going to do that shit. <laughs> They don't talk about Mary after that a lot, do they? Makes me wonder, did, did Jesus burst out of Mary like an alien? <laughs> Just burst out of her chest, walking and talking? <laughs> That's the only way I can believe that story. <sighs> How about even like Michael Myers? <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> How does even Michael Myers or like Jason even find their victims? Is it like a app for that? Is a, cause you never see like Jason or Michael Myers like in a cab or in a city. Where to, buddy? <laughs> is there an app for that? Is there, is there an app like a Grindr-esque app for finding bisexual teenage girls who have narcolepsy who love taking showers alone? Because I don't want one. Alright, let me, let me get out of here with this. Thank you. <laughs> so, you know, if Richard Gere's acting career, which I guess is over now, because I haven't seen a Richard Gere movie in a long time, but what the last Richard Gere vehicle? I haven't seen one in a while. If his, uh, his acting career doesn't go, if he's over now, he can always go into, you know, uh, oh no, animal practice? He's gonna be like a veterinarian. Oh, your, your hamster died? Allow me to dispose of it. <laughs> oh. 
No white yet? Okay. Well, I'm always done anyway. <laughs> I can probably put a hand on my butt. I probably can. I mean, not, not a live one. I want one that you know died of natural causes. I mean, I, I preferably a dead one that died of natural causes. Not one that I, like ran over by a truck. I can't do that. If you can do that, you belong to Fear Factor, and the prize should be like a million dollars. You can do it without hesitation. Of one, or, you know, the entrails are just spilling out. Put on your butt. I do it. Thank you. You guys have been so nice. Ooh, Asian. What? <laughs> you like the anime? We're gonna be friends. <laughs> All right. But seriously, do you like Gundam? What? You like Gundam? <laughs> huh? Do you? Your ass. <laughs> Tall version of me. Alright. John Thomas, everybody. Let him hear it. I like how he called you, you the tall version of him. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, John Thomas, everybody. Ah, your next, we're gonna keep this show going, guys. Your next comedian, this guy's really funny. I've seen him uh, in a lot of the shows down in 757. Really, really funny guy. Glad he could be here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, make him feel welcome. Dwayne Murphy! Thank you. Um, yeah. Give it up for John Thomas. Uh, you can really clear a table, man. Like, you, <laughs> you got the gift. <laughs> What was, he, what, was he, what, what was he talking about? Like those. Alright, anyway, let me do my jokes. Um, <laughs> Talk about him more. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you're gonna wear that jacket, <laughs> uh, you got to not be intimidating. You gotta have a lot of material to back it up. One and two. What were you looking at? Who is standing over here? Alright, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, usually a lot nicer because I was, uh, I was born in Nebraska. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's pretty much more noise than you'll ever hear in Nebraska. Yeah, uh, people, you know, it's funny because when I tell people I was born in Nebraska, like, they don't believe me. Yeah, I couldn't tell people where I was from probably until I was like 20 years old because everyone, would not believe that I was from Nebraska. They're like, dude, you're black. There's no way you're from Nebraska. And I was like, look, if my skin color uh, is the only basis you have off of how I live my life, then you're not doing very well in other aspects. There's no way you hit my car. You're white. You're not Asian. Come on, man. This messed up. I wrote that today. Leave it alone. All right. Uh, <laughs> But no, I actually, I actually had a legitimate conversation with this lady. She goes, she goes, where are you from? I was like, no, I'm from Nebraska. She's like, no, you're not. I was like, yeah, I definitely am. So I'm a birth certificate. She's like, no, you're, you're from Jamaica. And then she left. That was the end of the, that was the, end of the conversation. So the next time I saw her, she was like, hey, mom, top of the morning to you. I was like, oh, wait, that's two different countries. What is your thought process right now? I'm from Nebraska. <laughs> people ask me, are, people, are they racist? I get that a lot. Are they racist in Nebraska? Are people racist? I gotta set the record straight, okay? Well, I gotta set the record straight, all right? This is the, this is the Midwest, okay? This isn't Texas. This isn't like Alabama. This isn't the help. You know what I'm saying? It's the Midwest. My phone's ringing. Of course they're fucking racist in Nebraska. We you know this. All right, but honestly, if you ask me, mid Midwest racism, it's a lot more subtle than Southern racism. You know, because if I'm in the South, if I'm in the help, some guy will come up to me and be like, hey boy, we don't like you, you need to leave. So I'll pack up my shit and go. You know what I'm saying? I don't want any problems. Midwest, slightly different. Hey boy, we don't like you, but we don't really have too many other people to talk to, so you can stay. <laughs> so 
need you to keep your 40s and shorties on your side of town. <laughs> You'll be all right. Yeah, I love, I, I personally, I liked it because, you know, everybody was afraid of me. Uh, only two black kids in my elementary school class were me and the board, so I had nothing to worry about. <laughs> my mother hated it, because my mother, she came, grew up in Brooklyn in the 80s, you know, she was a thug. She was hard. She was rough. She was like, she had this problem where she would provoke us. She always tried to provoke me and my brother. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I used to cry when I was really younger. You know, like, I'm talking about I was like, when I was really young, like six or seven, teen, like real, real young. <laughs> it was messed up. So I got in an argument with my mom. She was like, yeah, you know what? I think you need braces because your teeth look like they're having a dance battle that nobody wins. It's <laughs> <laughs> messed up. She's like, yeah, it's looking like Save the Last Dennis. Get in the car. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't really argue with her that well because being from Nebraska, I don't really have those skills. But hey, I'm about to blow her shit up right now because she's not here, all right? My mother has one brown tooth, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> One brown tooth. It's pretty uh, disturbing because I never understood why she just had one. Like, did that tooth grow in late and there wasn't enough enamel to go around, you know? Imagine that conversation. It had to be awkward. Oh, oh, everybody's getting white jackets with me? That's how we're going to do this, guys? All right. I get it. I get it. You know what? Call me Club Cavity. I'm about to rot the F out of this mouth. Okay? Yeah. No, shut up, canines. All right, I don't want to hear it. You're always trying to bite off more than you can chew. All right? I already got wisdoms over here trying to... I thought they had my back. They pulled out years ago. We get with these molars. They're always on the grind. You know what I'm saying? The life. I started watching these conventions. I watched all of the speeches. You know, Republican, Democratic. I'm going to be honest. After all the speeches I saw, I'm voting for Clint Eastwood. Seriously, let's put him and Morgan Freeman on the same ticket. Like, you know how much respect we would get from everybody in the world? Like, we can't go to war with them. That's Dirty Harry and God running their country. It's not cool. Thank you, guys. My name is Dwayne Murphy. Thank you. That was awesome. Give it up for him, man. Uh, your next comic, really funny guy. Very, very, uh, he, he's a wordsmith. That's one way to put it. Uh, give it up for the very funny AJ Figgy. <laughs> to be or not to be? That is a question. You know what that is? Shakespeare. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Lethargy beavers, don't give a damn. I don't know if you guys noticed, but there was no wind anywhere in the world for like two weeks. So I marched on up to heaven and I said, God, what the hell's going on? Why did you take away the wind? He just looked at me and kind of shrugged his shoulders and said, eh, no reason. <laughs> I recently came across a bunch of dolphins. Been keeping them in my bedroom. My friends are asking me, AJ, what the hell are you gonna do with all these dolphins? Are you gonna release them to the wild? Are you going to sell them to a zoo? I figured, no, I think, I think I'm just going to keep them for my own purposes. <laughs> <laughs> I had sex with a dude once. <laughs> I didn't know he was a dude. It was a real drag. <laughs> Socrates had gingivitis really bad. It's too bad he wasn't a better philosopher. <laughs> so the other day I beat the shit out of this girl. <laughs> Fucking kicked the shit out of her face. I messed up my knee doing it. 
So I had to kind of like massage it and stuff. Yeah, she led me to misogyny. Masturbation. I'll never forget the first time I masturbated. The first time I really got it right. It was a stroke of penis. <laughs> I want to keep doing puns, but I feel like I should just take a break. Life is like a box of chocolates. If you let a dog in it, the dog's gonna be dead before the box is finished. <laughs> See, I had all that cutesy stuff and I just ruined it with that <laughs> dog joke. A cow walked into Denny's and he said, there's not enough toast in here. This cow was lactose intolerant. <laughs> I've been digging holes in my backyard every day and sleeping in them for about an hour. I figure it's good for my health because you know what they say, a nap hole a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> the financial struggles for the single mothers of centipedes is absurd. <laughs> Especially when it comes to shoe shopping. <laughs> Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Unless, of course, that girl is an African slave miner. Hitler used to write a lot. He would write and eat sandwiches. He would take a bite out of the sandwich, set it down, write it again, pick it up, take a bite, set it down, write a little bit more, then he'd pick it up again, munch on it a little bit more, and he would drop it on the ground. And that was the rise and fall of the third bite. <laughs> Sometimes he would snuggle up in a blanket while doing his writings. He called this mind comforter. <laughs> I guess that's all I've got for you guys. Thank you. everybody let him hear it awesome your next